So go ahead and navigate to the URL in the search bar so we can download Raspbian to install on our SD card of our new Raspberry Pi. Once there, scroll down the page a little bit to find Raspbian. You can download the file or the torrent file, um, whichever one you prefer, and go ahead and click that to download. Now I've already downloaded the file, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this download. So now go ahead and go to wherever you download that file to, in my case the desktop. Um, it might be in the downloads for you. And I'm going to go ahead and click Chrome, and just double click on that zip file, and it will extract. So give it a few seconds, minutes, however long it takes um, to extract the zip file. And now you'll see a disk image of your Raspbian operating system on your desktop. So now go ahead and open up Terminal so we can image your SD card with this disk image. You can either find it in your application's utilities or just search for it in Spotlight. When Terminal opens, go ahead and type disk util list. This will show you all the disks that are currently attached to your computer. Now go ahead and insert your SD card. I just put mine in, you see it appear on my desktop. And we're going to type disk util list again. You'll see that a new disk has appeared. Compare it to your previous output of disk util list. In order to image this SD card, we want to unmount it first. Type disk util space unmount disk space slash dev slash and then your disk identifier. In my case, this is disk 2. You should get a message saying that your disk was unmounted successfully. Once your disk is unmounted, type sudo ddbs equals 1m if equals, and then go ahead and drag your file there and it'll pre-create your uh, file path. And then after that file, type of equals slash dev slash your disk identifier, in my case, disk2. Press enter and enter your password, and now you wait. The Raspbian operating system is being copied over to your SD card. This took about 35 to 40 minutes to complete. Um, it might be faster on your computer, um, but just go ahead and be patient and it'll let you know when it's finished. When this finishes, you'll see a new disk called boot on your desktop. Um, that's the SD card mounted and it has all the boot files for your Raspberry Pi. So all you need to do is eject that disk and plug it into your Raspberry Pi and power it up and plug it into a monitor, mouse, keyboard, however you want to do it, um, and start playing with it.